Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today we're going to talk about something Halo adjacent. It could turn out to be literally nothing, but I've seen a lot of people talk about it on Twitter. And it's basically that Netflix has closed its AAA game studio in Cali less than two years after opening it. And last spring, Joseph Staten had joined the team, and it's now gone. Now back then everybody thought that this meant that Netflix was super serious about gaming. Joe's role at 343 at the time and with Halo definitely seemed like it was just to get, you know, Halo Infinite out the door in the best, you know, possible way that it could be launched, but it seemed like he was going to be leaving Xbox in general and with the Netflix signing, obviously all that kind of came to fruition. Now what's interesting is Halo Studios actually closed their creative director job listing about a week ago. Now, as somebody that's, you know, as high up as, say, a creative director for a game, they would probably see the writing on the wall that something was going to happen and they were going to get shut down way before anybody, you know, lower down the totem pole realized that. So maybe Joe did know that this was happening and maybe Joe maybe applied for the creative director role. All of this is unconfirmed, clearly. But with how Halo Studios and Microsoft seem to be approaching Halo at this point, the franchise in general, I would not be surprised at all if they brought on some more old Bungie leadership to work on all these multiple Halo projects they have. You know, maybe the current Halo Studios is working on the multiplayer side of things, and then you let Joe have ODST 2, a single player Halo game, you know, just single player, let him go have fun, live out his dreams of creating those fantastic campaigns that he worked on. I kind of see it as a win-win. He would also be working adjacent to the current leadership, I think, and I think in any industry or you know corporate sector kind of job it's kind of hard to bring in old guard people after so long because they have their way of doing things and then the new leadership has their way of do doing things and people butt heads and stuff and egos and it's just difficult to do that stuff but i think halo is big enough and i think that there's enough opportunities for multiple games multiple pr projects to be worked on that it's kind of like star wars you know there's comics and movies and shows and games and stuff and it's not just limited to one person um you know making one thing at a time but personally i think that would be pretty cool i think the reason that halo infinite launched in the state it did and a lot of people are going to be like well that was terrible but it could have been so much worse and i think it's because of joe coming in and kind of giving them that leadership and the vision that's just my opinion you don't have to agree with it but with this being posted i've also seen people say you know hire marcus letho i've also seen people say hire marcus again you know the the father of the master chief and stuff and there's been a lot of contention on twitter i think marty o'donnell wants to work for elon musk now and make a game or something like that but we'll see what happens i think that this is i mean there's so much news around halo right now it's kind of crazy but that's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I will catch you guys around the ring. Peace.